please excuse the sound of my uh, noise, noisy, very noisy uh, PC fan. I'm just currently uploading a video, which I'm hoping will upload before the uh, millennium arrives. And uh, I wanted to just get get some thoughts down of. Uh, something I feel very strongly about and that is um, violations upon children and innocent people, especially other people's children and innocence and vulnerability of other people's vain deluded. Uh, pride and arrogance without people's permission um, and this video is going to be honed in on a particular subject of uh, indoctrination how children are fed and pumped uh, with the, the soap bubbles blowing bubbles to sell soap, washing these children in political buzz phrases and seeds and um, suggestive mechanisms and ideas that get put on the table. Oh, how about this? What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, and that, that will st that that all starts with um, a seed, and many seeds. And today, it's um, you're a bigot for being um, not being politically correct. You'll be crucified and murdered before you stand up. And then, when when you do stand up and say something. Your your treatment's justified and and it's repeated. Um, it's become that bad in the world. It's so topsy turvy. And so this is just a video in a deri um a deris a deri <laughs> I'm tired. The original derisory deri <laughs> the original bit of humour. Um, that's such a very serious subject and that's the uh, violation and manipulation and uh, the grooming it's like it's like predatory grooming but on um, young innocent minds and um, and within the whole the whole area of this um, perversion of violating children um, sexually, violently, for various um, evil motives. Uh, I want to particularly cover the indoctrination of young minds and some of my personal experience where, where I recognise that, that that come from. So, uh, I'm going to entitle this video, Make the Whole World a Gay Bow. And if um, anyone's familiar, grew up in the 70s with Rainbow and Rod Jane and Freddy, I'm just going to give some brief thoughts on that particular bubblegum show um, that children's uh, young children's TV program in a colourful framed musical jolly gay imagery and I'm going to look at the characters and just what that is stating, what that is suggesting. Um,
so let's look at the the rainbow. That's the uh, token of the LGBT uh, community um, and their parades for uh, gay rights and uh, lesbian rights and uh, transsexual rights. And so I'm looking at where this where this indoctrination and reinforcement of this behaviour, this genetical anomaly, this um, bump, this abomination in society which is rewriting the, its own rules, it's um, dominating, it's a beast, it's linked with so much sponsorship and money in the entertainment industry, in the Hollywood industry, in the world, in, in education, in pump, 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 pump the rainbow, make the whole world a gay bow. Um, and my gaydar is, is um, caught fire and exploded. It's a gay bow today out in the, out in the classroom. Um, So uh, let's look at the, uh, the, the demasculisation of the characters. If you can, uh, if you've not seen the program, um, I'm sure there'll be copies of it on uh, on YouTube or so, some somewhere online, uh, or a video available to purchase. So there was. Um, vaguely remember the characters, um, Rod, and um, I think he was the main master of ceremonies, the anchor, the anchor man, and, and he had a cuddly bear George, a gay bear George, um, or Bungle, I can't remember, there was Zippy George and Bungle, uh, Zippy was a Zippy puppet with a, a zip for its mouth. Um, one was a hippopotamus that was uh, effeminate and a, a bit of a pansy. And then Bungle was a bit of a, a, a ladies' boy and a gay boy in a bear suit who was like he wet his pants. Um, and then, and, and then the people who uh, uh, weren't in costumes were Rob, Jane and Freddie, uh, both um, emasculated characters in gay jumpsuits and colourful jumpers and, and uh, really bright illuminated voices, gay in the... Um, True definition of the sense, bright and happy and cheerful, but I'm not knocking the people and or or anyone's uh, fondness of it or uh, you know deriding the people. Just just the image. I'm just looking at the imagery and the people behind it. And, the, the mentality behind it, or the root behind it, where, wherever it comes from. And so Jane was the uh, centre figure the, 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 of the of, of the um, spectacle. So there was two two like um, two blokes, and then uh, played off the played off the. Uh, female character, Jane, but it was all um, very, um, well it had to be innocence, in innocence because it was a child programme, but it was very suggestive of all those areas of um, demasculising effeminates and uh, effemininity and uh, uh, all the suggestive tokens to uh, 
try and unjustly re-establish an unjust balance between man and female, uh, masculinity and femininity. Oh, I'm getting cold. Ugh. Got the window open. And it's icy out there. So I wanted to call up that that observation and uh, consider the um, the rights, gay rights. Um, well, what about my rights to not not see Coca-Cola adverts or not to see um, a bus with an advert on or not to hear a radio or not to hear someone else's telly? What about my copyright law, what about my rights not to um, approve of um, violations of children, the manipulation of our culture and indoctrination of young impressionable children who are in so associated with, with all the corporate sponsored powers behind this transgender movement and the gay movement and the lesbian movement and and all the freak shows that come with it, the turning it all upside down and and figuring out, well, what's next? It's um, man and beast and boy, woman, masculine, fem half boy, half girl and half God, half Satan, all that dualistic, um, Gnostic garbage that's pumped into the media, Harry Potter stuff and all the all, all the tokens are ripe through today's uh, entertainment uh, medium, whether that's children, adults, old people, whatever generation, whatever age range, there's something for everyone to pump this modus operandi, this um, combination of indoctrination and leading the political voice of the people, homophobic, um, Islamophobic, well, well, that, that can be easily uh, turned on its head if, you start, if, I, if I was to wear a, a t-shirt with uh, written in red, um, one of the verses out of the Quran, oh it's uh, Allah commands his servants to go and kill Jews and Christians um, that's what it says that's not how it words it precisely but in, in its context that's all it can suggest to kill Christians and Jews and murder them and lie and cheat in the name of Jihad in the name of Allah so I can't speak out against Islam but if I was to wear that t-shirt and start putting my thumbs up and crying out jihad, burn everyone, burn all the Christians and Jews, kill them, you know, they're scum, I would be lynched. And I, you know, but that's not uh, Islamophobic. That's just telling the truth. Uh, um, it's the same with uh, homosexuality. Well, uh, well, let's turn that around. Well, what about uh, families' rights not to have their children exposed to that on a daily basis in school, in on telly, in computer games, videos, in music, radio, magazines, books, educational books. Science, you know, it's fake science. All lies, all puke, all zippy George and Bunker. Rod Jane and Freddy, <laughs> what a load of rubbish, make the whole world a gay dar, so that's my uh, gay bow, that's my um, my plea, my cry, and this the violation of innocence, uh, I mean I mean, I wish, I wish pe more people would speak out and uh, and, and say things to, on a ground level, you know, uh, and, and speak out against this rot. It, it's like um, having transgender p 
people come into play groups and teach their politics is disgusting and that's going on already you know choose, you can see it being pumped into the media you know choose what sex you want it's all right you know put the gun on the table see if they sh you know let's, you know let's talk about this is it all right to have a gun on the table and shall we shan't we you know is it isn't it well a, a boy has all the equipment of a boy of a man and a girl has all the equipment of a a female, a woman, and everyone's rights are the same. Everyone's got equal rights. God's got equal rights. He's got all rights because he's right, and we're all wrong, so we've got no rights. Um, and he's made it quite clear. An oak tree produces an oak tree. A man and a woman produce a man or a woman child. Because a woman is a man, from man, of man, woman, mankind, man, woman, they're equal. But God has appointed the man to wear the trousers to be the head. And women, singly, are e just as equal as men, because she's a man, she's of man, so she's a single uh, woman who's got as much right as any man. There's no political war or rally needs to be cried. The truth's been on the earth from the beginning. And a little boy is not to be confused with the choice of becoming a little girl when he's clearly a little boy. And all this pumping and pumping and pumping is passed on genetically, so you're gonna, your children are gonna go up grow up with this proneness to be gay, proneness to be, think that they're a transgender, um, uh, like a pop idol or a entertainment, um, someone they've seen on the telly parading around in lipstick and tight skirts with a beard and a shadow on his face. It's um, perversion, it's perverse, it's corrupt. And there's nothing right with a man and a man, because a man and a man won't produce a woman or a man. So that's not that on the head. And a woman and a woman won't produce a man or a woman, and that's not that on the head. So we, we, it's always been the same from the beginning. A man and a woman tree bring forth man and woman trees and they bring, bring forth man and woman trees and there's no break um, a ruler will always be a ruler a straight line will always be a straight line and the principles that they used to magic, measure the earth and discover it was round are the same true lawful principles that have always been on the earth and then you get this um, control and media saying, "Oh, the Earth's flat," and, and and then you go, and then you wonder, well, who's behind that? Who's sponsoring that voice? Who's planting those seeds and encouraging this uh, rhetoric, and then let, allowing it to run, and not standing up against it when when the people in authority very well know what the truth is. But they allow this stuff, they ferment it, and they go, oh, what should we do about it? Oh, what should we do about it? It's just getting out of hand. Oh, no, what should we do? Let's pump it and pump it and pump it. Oh, no, let's step back. What should we do about it? Oh, right, it's time to turn it off now. Uh, you know, uh, they just can't look after themselves. You give them freedom and they blow it. We better tighten up the law and restrict, restrict, restrict. Ferment, false flag, restrict. Lie, lie, lie. Get the ball in the net, get the ball in the net. Pump, pump, pump. Crap, crap, crap. Lies, lies, lies. Um, make the whole world a gay bow. So I'm going to close there before um, I get too animated and um, sin or uh, get angry. So, um, 
I'm going to share that in that um, the riding video to the the, the insanity of of um, just what's observed on a, a, d a daily basis by 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 the ch by children, uh, by innocents, and by everybody else. And uh, I hope this is um, received and discovered to make a difference somewhere. And um, I'm going to close there and, and wish everybody well. In, in Jesus Christ's name, Amen.